Kenny Miller, thank you very much for taking the time to join us here at the Marbella Football Centre. You joined the club last week. How's it been for you settling in? Brilliant. It's been a great week. Uh, I mean, it was good to get in. I mean, I've been I've been missing being back on the grass, so it was brilliant to get the call for Mark to ask me to, to ask me to come down and help. And it's been a, it's been a fantastic week. Good club, really really good people, been really welcoming. Uh, so it's been easy to settle in. So it's uh, and it's been a brilliant first few days in the camp here in Marbella. Lads are working super hard. So uh, injuries, seeing a few injuries coming back as well, getting onto the grass, which is good. So yeah, looking forward to finishing the camp off. We've got a couple of friendlies. So uh, before we before we face Sheffield United in, in ten days' time or so. So there's a lot of work to be done, but it's been a really really good first week. And what attracted you to come to the club? Obviously, we know your relationship with Mark, but what about the project in general? Well, listen, it's a it's a it's a brilliant club with really really good people in it that are pretty clear on how they want to go about their business. Uh, I've met Mark. I've known Mark for a long time. Uh, but we've really got like, to know each other a lot better over the last two and a half years on the pro licence and he's someone I really believe in. I think he's a, a wonderful young coach with, with clear ideas, with wonderful education, with uh, his play, not only his playing time but his coaching time in Germany. So uh, it's a different way of working. It's, uh, I've not seen a team work as hard but the lads are really, really responding and uh, it's, like I said, it's been a great week and I'm delighted to be back in at a level where it's a, it's a brilliant level at the Championship, competitively, I've played in it for, for, for enough years, I know exactly what the league demands, so I uh, just can't wait for the games to start. Football fans, and town fans in particular, will probably be more familiar with Kenny Miller, the footballer, scoring plenty of goals across your career, rather than Kenny Miller, the, the coach, who's probably more of an unknown quantity. Could you just fill us in on what you've been doing since you decided to hang up your boots? Yeah, well, I played right up until I was 40, to, uh, retired January 2020. Uh, Based, basically because of opportunity, I had a chance to go to Australia and work with another guy I played with at Wolves, Carol Robinson, uh, and I decided that was probably the right, the right time to hang them up and, 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 make a, and make the step into coaching. So I had a good 18 months, 20 months across in Australia. Uh, we moved back pretty much this time last year and I got in to help a, a coach that I'd worked with in the MLS, Martin Rennie. Uh, he was in at Falkirk, so he asked me to go and help for, uh, just till the end of the season, which we've done. So I've not really had a lot of time out of the game, so this last three or four months has been really, really tough. So I've had yeah, the last two and a half years been coaching since pretty much straight from the playing days. So it's been great. The transition's been great. I don't, don't want to be somebody that takes time out or whatever. I've wanted to jump straight in. I made that decision. So it was great to get the call to get back in. I say that a wonderful football club at Huddersfield. As we just touched on, people are going to be most familiar with your attacking play as a forward. Is that going to be your focus at the club? How we attack? I think it's a, it's a natural thing when you've you've played a certain position, but for me, it's, it's I, I wouldn't want to get kind of railroaded into like that kind of striker coach role. Yeah, it's going to be a big part of the role because you're trying to. We've got a lot of young players here at this club, a lot of fantastic talent that we've actually seen get a lot of game time of late. Uh, so there's a lot of work to be done, not just with the strikers, you know, with, with, with everybody throughout the team. But if you can help these young strikers, I mean, Keen Harris, it's the first time I've seen him since I've, since I've been uh, on this camp, and he's, he's excellent. You know, I think he's got a, a big, big future in the game. So anything that I can do to help him, kind of facilitate that, then obviously I'm more than happy to do. But I'm in here to coach, help, coach, help Mark coach the team, uh, get us. Winning games, you know, we, we need to start winning games. That's that, that's the most important thing. There's been a lot of positive stuff. I feel. I mean, I've watched every game since Mark came in, you know. So I've been up in Scotland watching every game. So there's been a lot of positive stuff. A lot of hard work being done over the last two months to get us into a position to that we can win games. We just maybe need to get these wee finishing touches and maybe a wee bit of luck as well at, at the other end of the field, just to, for a for a goal to drop, you know, for one of these chances to be created, like the Swansea last kick of the ball it could have been three points, you know. But wonderful defending uh, to uh, to block it. So. Yeah, listen, you'll help the strikers, but I'm here to help the team win games. We don't want to keep you too long, so I'll make this my last question. Obviously, the table isn't the prettiest thing in the world for us to look at in the moment, so it's, it's probably fair to assume that this break has come at a, a good time for us. In your short time here so far, and especially on this training camp in Marbella, have you seen enough to think that we can get right back up that table? Listen, I, I do, and I've seen it even in the games leading into the break. I mean, you look at when you're going to play a team like QPR who are at the top league, Blackburn who are at the top league and you're going in and there's, you've got so many young players in the team based on a lot of injuries. Uh, this break has come at a good time. 
there's all the, the good work is just going to get better and stronger. The players have had a really, really tough week. You'll see, you'll see that watching the training. They're working super hard, but there's more than enough in the, in the dressing that we can start getting the results we need to start climbing the table. And what will help is, is getting these experienced, more experienced players, these injury players back, because it'll give the, the, the squad a, a lot more strength and depth, and they'll push each other on. The guys push each other every single day in training. So the, the bigger squad you've got, the more strength and depth you've got, then the better that's going to become.